Hey, how's it going? Today is Saturday. We we'll take a look at uh, different opportunities available out there. I thought it might be worth taking a look at some of the investments made by the taxpayers and uh, where those investments went. That would be some of those agencies, right? And now that uh, a lot of businesses can uh, look for support from those agencies. I'm taking a look at uh, some of those agencies and what kind of support opportunities they have once that investment was made by the taxpayers. Investment was made, right? So I pay taxes, I think everyone should pay taxes, right? <laughs> Either way. So while that uh, tax money was allocated, supporting some of those agencies, uh, myself, I'm looking at the stand as well as take action on some of those opportunities. How well, uh, currently, those agencies are executing some opportunities there's a lot of room for improvement <laughs> i'm taking a look at european space agency or esa and i have covered uh, before uh, the budget and some of those opportunities as well as uh, perhaps in this video i'm going to take a look at a uh, different opportunity and perhaps uh, touch on the history of this uh, agency <laughs> uh, i thought it might be worth taking a look at uh, history first and perhaps uh, you, that would be a story, perhaps that would be worth taking a look at uh, something where the tax money was already spent and uh, now once uh, uh, it's been spent, how and the business can have access to some of that technology where that tax money was spent in the first place, right? So that's a good <laughs> way, I don't know, that perhaps it's shit, it's shit. Uh, now you need to reach out to those people, uh, those people who are doing such a hard work up there, it's such a great things that they are getting paid for and uh, supporting different businesses, right? Or perhaps failing miserably <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Which is a very important sector. I don't know if people are noticing. I don't know if Europe is up there <laughs> on the leader scoreboard, right? I don't know if our money has not been wasted. <laughs> were comparing to other countries right and how uh, had some of those other countries are uh, comparing to Europe but uh, that's where we have this is what we have to work with I guess let's start to uh, or touch on the history and from there we can progress into uh, the next opportunity uh, history right space lab T gateway 40 years of modeler for people in space so it's something that they have managed to accomplish and it's something that uh, how much progress they made so it's 40 years we're looking at it right so uh first first person and then it was lunch right and how much where we are on the progress of this organization based on finance right if there's any progress made <laughs> i don't know i don't know perhaps there's a lot of progress there we just don't know any about that <laughs> What uh, this uh, organization has accomplished in sense. So we're taking a look at 40 years, right? ESA's first human space flight mission lifted off 40 years ago today, accompanied by the first ESA astronaut. Wolf Melbourne, the Space Lab model, took flight in uh, inside the Space Shuttle Cargo Bay. Turning, okay, let's do not promote any of other organizations. Uh, space truck into a uh, mine space station for scientific research. Europe continue to be highly active in the crude modular business to this day. So I, I, I think all the things had slowed down, right? So we all think had slowed down and perhaps this organization is not receiving enough funding to launch more people and progress since I think everything's uh, uh, I don't know, they, they are just there, <laughs> from my personal understanding, they are just there. Uh, after Space Lab came ESA, or Sp uh, European Space Agency, Columbus Laboratory, among many other models of the International Space Station, No. 2, No. 3, and Earth Watch, Cupola, the ATV, and uh, Cygnus Cargo Spacecraft, the European Space Modeler of Orion Lunar, or bitter modulars for the private Exxon space station and our crucial element of the getaway station due to orbit moon or okay so the, this is what they are saying i don't know it might be a waste of everyone's time <laughs> i think it's a waste of everyone's time we need to say that they're doing something so okay okay they're doing something 
but I don't think they're accomplishing anything. I don't know what would be the most recent uh, accomplishments that they have done, right? Let's uh, take a look at facts, right? Hard data. Uh, that I know of, not, they haven't accomplished that much. <laughs> Other than perhaps been uh, taking a lot of resources, right? And uh, that's my personal understanding. I don't know, it's uh, good, it's bad. Uh, perhaps they should accomplish a lot more, right? With that uh, capital that was been allocated, perhaps. I don't know, I don't know, been uh, that capital allocated and they are not keen in supporting other businesses and supporting some of those organizations. Perhaps it would be uh, that why would they look to accomplish anything? If they were receiving funding from a government, <laughs> why would they look to accomplish anything? <laughs> I don't know. It's one of those things, right? <laughs> it's not a performance-based funding, right? If someone understands what I'm saying. What, what's performance-based funding, right? So if there's a set targets by a government, if they achieve those targets, we can rationalize those targets, then we can progress in perhaps giving more funding to some of those organizations. Right now, I don't know. So that's my understanding, right? Uh, I'll cover some of the set of things that they look into do, uh, as well with this organization and something that they tr are looking to attract more attention, perhaps more finance. You focus on the, <laughs> this kind of areas is very high, intense, and can give you a very costly process, right? Recently, uh, some of those governments, right? India, India, the lunch uh, person to that space, right? They accomplished that. Was it a person or they just landed on, this, uh, on the moon, right? So India did it. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. Uh, the US, Russia, perhaps uh, other places like China is progressing the, in those areas, India progressing. Come on, Europe, come on, <laughs> step, step it up. <laughs> Roughly about four months ago, uh, Chen Dry Nan 3, India makes historical landing near Moon's South Pole. So uh, now uh, there, there's a lot of progression there, right? So India is landing there. India has made the historical as it moons mission became the first to land in the lunar south polar region. Within this India joined the elite club of countries to achieve uh, soft landing on the moon after US, former Soviet Union and China. So now uh, I can understand some of the, uh, I can see physical, Right, they, they might be give a, a Europe might give a lot of reasons why they cannot do it. Right, well, now the ones say India did it, so I can understand. There's a <laughs> example there where other countries have achieved that. Right, so what I'm what I'm asking is how well is uh, they allocating capital and how well are they operating uh, some of those other governments. Right, taking a look at Europe and how well are they allocating capital and what would be data where they we could show some of the examples of what they have accomplished since then. Other than that, we can read some of the information on the organization's website about what they accomplished 40 years ago, but not what they're accomplishing every day. <laughs> not every day. What they have done 40 years ago. <laughs> if others uh, or other governments managing to do it, and some of those governments doing six times cheaper compared to others who have done it. Six times cheaper. So if they manage to do it, Take inspiration, be inspired. That's ambition for other organizations to do similar things, right? That's where it should come from. So that take that inspiration, something that was done four months or so ago. So if they managed to do it, it's so it's impossible to do it if it's something that this organization is still looking to do it. I don't know how this organization has been structured and how that finance has been managed and what everything what's happening currently with some of those organizations, but that what should be important, right? Show some examples or those that we can inspire others, right? So if that's what this organization is all about, let's take inspiration, right? And accomplish even similar goals, accomplish better goals. <laughs> How, where are we gonna set the bar, right? We're we gonna set it very low. Can you accomplish something? Uh, not for 40 years ago, right? Can you accomplish something today or perhaps within the next six months? And from there, we can progress, right? <laughs> accomplish a similar one. We have accomplish something bigger, right? So that's where the, we can set those targets, right? And then we, you would attract more businesses, perhaps doing business with you, right? Or perhaps there's a lot of issues within this organization, the way how this organization has been managed. Let's take a look at this goal and what this opportunity is all about. Let's try to understand a little bit better. There are so many of those, right? I'll try to cover. Uh, if I can, a uh, number of those. Uh, this opportunity is Incubate 2 Standard Call for Proposal. 
the incubate element of the European Earth Watch program. Incubate aims at accompanying accompanying okay 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 european economic operations in earth observation market rapid evolving currently witnessing in europe and overseas incubet offers a new process in the european space agency earth observation program to strengthen and stimulate the uh, the realization of and the devers near to the market with economic operators. Right, right. So th perhaps this is not the optimal opportunity just because uh, they would be looking for almost uh, working. For, so you already need to have existing uh, prototype, right? So that would be near market, right? <laughs> so not necessarily entry, uh, entry level. Uh, so I don't know this organization, right? I haven't done anything with this organization. I don't know if I want to work with this organization in the first place, right? Uh, so far, uh, I have my doubts, right? But uh, that's my personal experience. So and they're looking to you work with perhaps near market level, right? So not entry level. So I don't know if this opp opportunity is best to, to what I was set my target in and uh, starting and working with and perhaps if uh, this uh, organization uh, can uh, do anything in the first place, <laughs> I'm questioning a lot of things. Perhaps I need to reach out to India, see what they have been up to these days. <laughs> That's my personal understanding, right? Uh, activities to be supported include the development and or demonstration of space assets, missions, instruments, prototype elements of EO, uh, constellations, innovative missions, management solutions, including for future EOS uh, constellations, the development of applications, platforms, etc. Uh, incubator is looking to commercial availability by the end of the activity up to the last of the available product, right? So it's something that perhaps would be tangible, right? So if you starting with an idea, it would be taken to a level where it could be presented as a working prototype, where it could be uh, later be potentially sold. But again, I haven't read the contract there. Yeah, perhaps we would be taking over it, so it, I don't know <laughs> what the contract would look like, but this opportunity is not necessarily an optimal one for myself, and uh, I would not necessarily recommend that opportunity for others, right? In particular, where we are looking to begin and start working, right? So it won't be a waste of everyone's time. So this opportunity and the wording, it's very difficult to begin, as well as some of those contracts. I have taken a look at some of those, perhaps it will be 40 pages, 50 pages. Again, I don't know its organization, I don't know its people. I don't know if that's uh, the starting block where uh, anyone should start. Yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a book. Within this book, I'm sharing a lot of information that everyone would need to know when it comes to you uh, establishing your first uh, business, livestock enterprise. and. Uh, where to begin than uh, starting it. I have set targets to be a financial goal that would be working from zero, where everyone would start up to your first $10,000 euros pounds and where to begin. Uh, within this book, I would share a lot of examples of others within the field and how they did it. And that would potentially be a value proposition for people out there <laughs> uh, who are perhaps currently within the stage or and trying to understand if it's something that you yourself you would like to do and how to achieve that. Uh, this and more uh, within this book, right? <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anyone. You can find it QR code in the corner, company website below. Uh, this opportunity that I have covered within this video, that would be perhaps five companies, <laughs> 10 companies tops. It's way too difficult, way too hard as well as, uh, I mean, I understand it since I have been within the industry for some time, but either way, so I, I don't think it's a very optimal opportunity. And uh, But I guess this is how they decided to manage some of those opportunities, I guess. But uh, it's not where I'm looking to begin. And if uh, some of those opportunities won't be a waste of my time, it's just because they are managing that. So what what kind of people are managing this kind of opportunities if they can get things done? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to accomplish, clean, done, close that one, start a new one. Right? That's what I'm looking for. I don't know if that's organization that I'm looking to do business with, but perhaps they can prove me wrong. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.